Hi again, Bob. This is uh, what to do, how to save the MIDI maps for you. So when you've put your MIDI map in, you have to save it. So if you go up onto the beats bit, and you go down to start up, click on start up, and you get menu comes up. And you see here, there's a save, and there's a save as. If you save it as, it will put it onto your hard drive and if you save it, it will save the one you've actually got in there. You see on mine, I've got three. So I've got Startup, which the guy had in there previously. I've got Rex TD30, which I, I mapped on my TD32 and it's just kind of disappeared on me. So that's now I've swapped it over to TD30. Yeah. So if you want to save as, you just click on Save As and then you can name it and that will go to the directory. So this is one's called Rex TD40 you could call that Bob's TD40 and that, and if you save it then I won't save it but you can it will come up when you click on here it will come up as your user and you can scroll across and put it on as a user kit if you save it as startup it will be there all the time so it will be saved for you and every time you log on your mapping will come back up again and if you want to map the, S, the SPDSX pad then obviously you've got the option there as well ok that's how you save the MIDI maps once you've put them in. If you don't save them, it defaults back again. Over on this side, you don't need to go onto the kit, but on the startup, if you click on the startup, you'll see you've got the same menu up here again. You've got the user, and that's all the default kits that I've added to my user setup, and I'll email them to you shortly. But you can also save and save as. So if you've got a kit that you like, so you take one of the AD packs, so you take a distorted kit. So you, that one, there you go, it's Pearl, Sona, Toms. If you modify that kit, say you swap out the snare drum, say like I want a Ludwig snare drum on that, if you then click on there and go save as, you can then change it, say Pearl, and uh, so you change it to Ludwig. So I just backspace it, and you just type in Ludwig. Oh, you can find the right keys. And then if you save that, it will come up in your menu here. Next time you go in, it will be saved saved for you. So that's how you can actually save your kits. If you don't, if you change it and don't save it, it just reverts back to the original kit again whenever you go in. So if I just save that, you'll see it will drop in. Then if I get the mouse in the right place. So when I go, see it's there now. So if I click down one, I've got a little bit maple kit with a 402 snare if I go back up again I've got the Ludwig so it's actually held that kit now for me so I could tweak it and mess around with the EQ and everything else and, and save that kit and have it saved there for me and then it's on my master menu and that will that will then be in my user kits so there it is there that's, that's this one here well I hope that helps and uh, I'll get this posted for you very shortly well, just a quickie while we're on I'll show you how, much, how huge my bit of uh, space is for my gear. I'll just come back a little bit. So there's the there's the kit. There's the spare bed. That the, this is a spare bedroom. There's all my offshore gear piled in the corner here, a couple of bags. And there's my daughter's keyboard. You're just about to see it. I can't get back far enough to show you. And there's the window. And here's, here's the wall. Here's the wall the other side. And the door. Oh, there's a bit of Brian Titchy there for you as well. Uh, Brian Downey, sorry, not Brian Titchy, Brian Downey for you as well. And there's the door. Huge bit of space, eh? Alright, mate, cheers.